Thanks very much for arranging the interview and consenting to do it remotely. We are pretty preoccupied down here with our virus um, and uh, uh, really appreciate you staying at a distance. It's what we try to do with each other. Um, but I look forward to our conversation. Thank you. You are most welcome. Although in reality, there wouldn't be any threat for me. We are a completely sanitary and biohazard free species consisting mostly of thought energy. Rather than inhabiting a messy physical form, the form you see now is merely a suggestion. Well, let's get to it. Um, you have been critical in the past of our species, alleging we have small brains uh, and inadequate minds incapable of problem solving. You have poked fun at our society and our various cultures. With that in mind, and over the course of this series of interviews, I'd like to challenge and explore your true knowledge of us, our intellect, popular culture, art, politics, and science. With today's interview, I'd like to start with a corner of our culture we refer to as nursery rhymes. Shoot. I want to discuss the mother goose rhyme, Simple Simon. While this rhyme has six verses, most of us here are familiar with only one or two. See? So we'll talk That's about those. That's just what I mean. Not even members of a shared cultural identity can claim knowledge of even the most rudimentary aspects of your commonality. But go ahead. Do you know yes, the rhyme? Yes, I know it. Please recite it. Simple Simon met a pieman going to the fair. Said Simple Simon to the pieman, let me taste your ware. Says the pie man to the simple Simon, show me first your penny. Says simple Simon to the pie man, indeed, I have not any. Now I'd like to quiz you on the origins and meaning of the verses, since you say you know so much about <clears> us. <throat> can you tell me a little bit about the origins of the rhyme? Certainly. <laughs> it dates from a chapbook and in a ballad, Simple Simon's misfortunes and his wife Marjorie's cruelty. About 1685, your time. <laughs> the verses you are familiar with were first published in 1784, 64, 1764, I believe. Yes. I didn't know that. Additionally, Mother Goose, Elizabeth Foster Goose, is said to have entertained her numerous grandchildren and other youngsters with songs and rhymes that were purportedly published by her son-in-law in 1719. But this origin seems spurious. It is more likely a French origin, not U.S., but given your small brains, you seem to like to cling to what seems easiest, even if it's wrong. <laughs> okay, but can you tell us the meaning of the yeah. rhyme? I can, but it seems so obvious it hardly bears explanation. Simple Simon is a dolt, not unlike most all of the silly humans on your dismal planet. He thinks he can get something for nothing in the first verse, thought he could catch a whale from a bucket of water, tried to harvest plums from a thistle, and was surprised when the thistle attacked him, and tried to fetch water in a sieve. Simon is the very synthesis of all the idiotic notions of your species. I quite see that now. Thank you very much. You're welcome.